Hello there, in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use TensorArt AI to generate images using prompts. First of all, head over to tensor.art. After that, if you're not signed in, you're going to head over to the top right and hit your sign in button. Over here, you can either continue with your Google account, your Discord ID, or continue with the email. For this video, I'm going to be continuing with my Google account. Once that's done, you can scroll down on the community feed and look at the models created by other people. In the post section, you can look at the community generated artwork. Over here, you'll find images that are created by other people using Tensor AI. In order to create your own image, you're going to head over to the top right and head and hit workspace over here you can either hit text to image image to image or animate for this example i'm going to be using text to image now what you're going to do is select your basic model you can choose any one of these as long as it matches your art style once you're done with that you can add laura these are other models that you can use so it's like an addition to those ones. Let's say I want to use this one. You can choose the value of this. If you want help, you can click this button and there's more info on this exact model. You can also add control net. But we don't need that right now. You can choose the VAE. You can either choose from any one of these or you could hit automatic and just let it do its job. Down here, you can type out your prompt. For this video, I'm going to be using the prompt anime. Anime girls sitting on a horse. And we can also add something else like majestic and magical. Now in your negative prompt, you can exclude the stuff that you want to. For example, I want to exclude low resolution images, weird body parts, and just bad images. You can also use some uh, negative prompts that are over here, like this. You can copy this and just paste it here. Under that, you can choose your settings, which is your aspect ratio. We're going to keep it. Add portrait. You can also make a custom one. The portrait one is 512 by 768, which is basically 2 ratio 3. You can change the sampling method if you want to. I'll just keep it the same. You can choose the sampling steps and the CFG skill. You can add your own seed or leave this empty for a random one. Or down here you can head over to advanced settings. And you can enable these few options if you'd like. Which is upscale. You can choose the upscaler that you want to use. You can choose the higher steps and the denoising strength. You can use this add detailer. So it just adds detail onto your generation, but you have to enter separate prompts for this. If you're done messing around with the settings, you can go down and choose the amount of generations and just hit generate. Down here, it will also show you how many credits your generation is taking. I'm going to hit generate. And on the right, you'll see uh, that your image is being generated over here. Just wait for it to complete. And finally, it's done generating both of our prompts. I just hit generate two times, so that's why it's generated both two images. But otherwise, you can click on it. You can use these buttons to either rotate it, zoom in, or you can right click and save images. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.